Welcome back to my channel. This is Liz here and if you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and hit that <laughs> bell or and, and hit that bell or something. Okay, so today I'm bringing you guys another vlog. It is Wednesday, March 10th. Today it's kind of late in the afternoon so we're going to do a few days in my life. So today I've just been deep conditioning my hair as you can see. It's late in the afternoon. It's about 4 o'clock right now. Usually I will like deep condition all day but I use this deep conditioner today um, I'll put it right here I use this deep conditioner and honestly it dripping like I think water based or I don't know but it literally just was dripping I put a shower cap a bonnet a scarf I put everything around my head and it just was not staying up and it's still like dripping down my face right now so I'm just gonna rinse it out I, and Savannah starts school tomorrow which is so exciting I got all her school supplies and I just have to pack her backpack and we're gonna go find where her bus stop is and just be prepared today before the Sun goes down hopefully and just get that out the way right. but look at this look at my curls though so it's crazy but look at my curls so I'm gonna deep condition my hair so this is how it is it's been in the shower cap probably for two hours I would say and I'm just gonna rinse it out and I'll probably just put it in two braids for right now I was just going outside to the bus stop so I decided to just actually do a poof instead I was honestly too lazy to do two braids I don't know why I thought I was gonna be able to get a poof from this way but my hair just popped right out This time I double banded the elastic before putting it around my head. It was super tight, but it worked for my poof. Do you guys remember this blanket I got from Target? It's so soft, so warm. I just love it being right here. And For this week's hairstyle, I wanted to braid my hair to put under a wig. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. Yeah. 
I ended up getting takeout from Yard House and I absolutely love that place. This is fish tacos, got some calamari, and also got some lemon pepper wings and we had their salmon as well. Everything was absolutely delicious and I go there so much. So it's Friday, February 12th. I don't know. It's been a hectic week. So I'm going to try to catch up in this vlog. I was getting bits and pieces of my week as I could. Savannah started school this week, like actual school. So that was exciting. That kind of took up a lot of my time. I took multiple trips to Target. I had to still buy some stuff off of Amazon, but she's so happy. Today's her second day and she loves it. She loves school. I'm going to show everything I got for Savannah's school, but I just really didn't have time. I just had to make sure she was ready. And I just wanted her to have a great first day of school. But I got her this Among Us backpack from Amazon. And that's just like, I think that made her life. And she loves the game Among Us us and she's just so happy to put on her backpack every morning. So yesterday I went to a few stores but I was gonna share it in this vlog because honestly I was gonna pick up one or two items. I was literally just going for window shopping. So I'm gonna actually make a separate haul today so I can upload that. So I'm gonna now just kind of get ready put on a little makeup and do that haul but I wanted to use some of the stuff to get ready so that's why I'm like hmm and I think I'll have like a self-care Friday evening later. It's only about it's 11 o'clock right now so this morning I was working on editing in my March giveaway and I'm working on uploading that right now so by the time you guys see this vlog my March giveaway will be live and I'm giving away $50 in cash app to two people so make sure you enter the giveaway check it out check out the video and make sure you're subscribed and I have more giveaways coming for the rest of the year so right now I decided I'm just gonna head out for a bit Savannah just got off of school so we're going to the playground but so don't mind my hair but I braided my hair up yesterday I didn't do a hair video this week because I got a new wig I ordered a new wig and it got delivered yesterday it's supposed to have been delivered yesterday but I don't have it I don't know where it is I walked around everywhere yesterday I was looking for it I couldn't find it so now I'm just like I just have this wig on this old one but it's not really on it's just chilling but it's Friday. I just wanted to have some fun with the kids. Or so we're gonna go to the playground. We're gonna go to one of our old playgrounds next to one of our old places we used to live at. Check out that old playground. The playground itself was being rebuilt. Should be up and running by now. So it's been over years. Right now the weather's so nice. The weather was so nice yesterday in Boston. It literally hit 70 degrees. I'm like today is about just about the same. Right now it's like 65. We just made it to the playground. It is rebuilt. It is open. Me, what does Mia think? I think it's so fun. You think it's, she thinks it's so fun. All right, so we stopped to get some snacks because I was hungry, but my hands are so ashy, guys. I need lotion. I need lotion. I should have went in the store and bought some lotion. You know what? Actually, I have Aquaphor. I have a whole bag. I have snacks. I have water. I have everything, but I don't have lotion. And what I do have, though, is chapstick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my chapstick to help my ashiness and see how this goes. So I'm going to take a little bit. That's not even a little bit. That's so much. But let's apply it to our ashy. Oh, this is working brilliant. My hands are still dry as day, but it looks a little better. I mean, I'm gonna put some on the back too. Some aquifer on the back. Mommy. So there's swings over here too, though. Remember, we used to come here, Mia. Do you remember though? You were such a baby. We used to come to this playground all the time. Okay, Savannah, I'm just finishing my lotion. Okay, so we're gonna get out the car. I'm gonna enjoy the playground. So how how long are we gonna stay at the playground for, Savannah? How long do you wanna stay here? Thirty minutes? No. One hour? Okay, one hour at the playground. 
So it's four o'clock now. So at five o'clock, we're gonna leave the playground. So you wanna stay here for one hour? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll bring you guys along for a little bit. But there are other kids here, and I, I'm the type of parent where like I don't like to record stuff that includes other kids because I would never want somebody else recording my kids without my permission. So I'm trying to be mindful of that. I'm at the playground again. I have this huge camera, so I'm not gonna pull out this. Huge So I want to give you guys an update on these puck lights that I did get from Amazon. I think it's only been, it's not even been two weeks. Yes, I love them. I would say, look at, like they don't, it doesn't even turn on. I just changed the battery to this light. This white is turning on now because I just changed the battery. Now this one is not turning on like at all. This one turns on, this one turns on. But And I just changed the battery to this one. But generally right now, I will turn them on like this within five minutes I will say like they turn themselves off so it's getting really annoying trying to use this as my makeup light and this one if this one is dead too like I said I already replaced this battery and I know I said in the reviews people were complaining about the batteries but they said one month and I barely use this maybe two or three days out the week when I do do my makeup so if it's not working just want to give you guys an update all right so that one over here just went off like right now and then I have three on. It's not helpful doing my makeup and lights are just going off. It's been a hectic day. I feel like every day this week has been pretty hectic. I feel like I have to sit down and kind of explain why it's been so hectic. But like again, I need the time to kind of sit down and explain. But so, but with the most part, so I think, I don't know if I said it earlier, but like I can't find my package. So I ordered a new wig. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday, so I braided my hair, as you guys can see from the vlog. I braided my hair yesterday. I was like, okay, great. Like, my wig is getting delivered. Like, it's going to get delivered. I'm going to have a new hairstyle. Like, that was going to be my hairstyle. I did my braids yesterday, and then at nighttime, I went to go look for my package. It said it was delivered at 11 a.m. yesterday. It said there was no signature required, so, okay. I've literally looked everywhere. I've walked around, and I can't find my hair, and I'm kind of oddly disappointed, so I digress. So, anyways, I think I will just move my whole vanity area back into my bedroom I really don't want to do that I like having that space like the whole closet everything like I like having my own space for everything but honestly the makeup and the lights is just not working so I think I'm gonna move it over here so I'll probably do that a little after this haul but I think I'm gonna like center that table more maybe just move my sewing machine into my closet because it's not like I sew every day or even every week but I definitely do my makeup at least every week well I'm gonna do the haul so I can use some of the products that's the only reason like on top of this haul check out that haul because I got a lot of good stuff at Marshall's Home Goods, Target, Nordstrom Rack. If you love seeing what people bought from stores and like what's in stores, so you can go get it yourself, or you just want to see for work, subscribe to my channel, watch my hauls, watch my vlog to see how I use the products. Anyways, I'm talking too much again. You know, let me go do my haul before it gets too late. Like, I kind of want to show you guys like the stuff I really was most excited about. Let me start with this. Look at this. I was thinking about it. I think I could put my body washes in containers like this. I can literally put a fancy dispenser in the tub. My body wash and I think I'm gonna do it and I wish I bought two of them now but Saturday February 13th I've just been at home again I've been doing probably just like self-care this morning I've been doing self-care for myself I took off my nail polish I want to repaint my nails I did a face mask and I used the body scrub that I got from Marshall's in there the pink Himalayan body scrub it was amazing like I wish like you guys could feel how soft my skin feels through the camera it just left my skin feeling so soft and then I used just coconut oil up and down my body after like right now my body Body is so soft that was like my self-care morning so now I'm all lathered and everything I want to take some pictures today and I want to clean up around the house because I did the haul and every time I do a haul I have like product stuff everywhere so I have to clean up it's Saturday the weather's not as nice today as it was the past two days so I'm just glad we got out yesterday went to the playground I had to wash my makeup brushes and I wanted to try this brush cleaning mat I got from Marshalls that is also included in my haul. I know I mentioned in a previous vlog that I clean my makeup brushes with this tool but I really wanted something to really scrub it because this tool is just really great for drying it after.
The brush clean and matte was a much needed added piece to this routine. It definitely made it more seamless and easy and I'm sure that my brushes are super clean on the first try and then I love that the tool dries them off immediately after and my brushes are ready to use within one to two minutes. The tool that I'm using to dry my brushes will be in the description box down below. So now I'm just trying to move around my room like I mentioned earlier. I do want this chair on the other side and I was trying to make it fit. I honestly should have measured before I started moving things around. This was legit the biggest fail ever. Like when I say biggest fail, just I don't know why I was even still trying. After all of that, I decided I was just going to put the chair at my desk and set up this area as my vanity area and just use this chair for now to record. I'm putting all my sewing stuff off to the side for right now, but I still need to take care of all this stuff over here. Alright guys, it's Sunday. It's been such a long week. Sunday evening right now. It's been a few days and I haven't... Hold on. This is one of my favorite lip glosses ever. Don't mind my fingers. The Minty Shine. The Minty Shine On from Victoria's Secret. I love it. Anyway, so guys, I moved my makeup area. I moved it over here. You guys saw me kind of start that little process. I'm gonna keep it over here for now. And I can just shoot over here as well. Maybe a little easier at nighttime anyway. So anyways, I wanted to try out the black radiance I got and kind of just give my first reactions, first review, see how it looks on me. So I thought that'd be fun and interesting. Thing. So yeah, but basically I just spent Sunday doing a bunch of self-care stuff. I cleaned, I cleaned the whole kitchen, I deep cleaned the fridge, groceries, all that stuff. Just get myself prepared for the week. Before I do my little nighttime routine, I thought I would just hop on. My first impressions of the Black Radiance makeup I got from Target. I'll let you guys know what I think, how it looks, see if I'll be adding them to my makeup routine. I'm just excited, so I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Oh, and I also finally got my wig that I was looking for, so I'm gonna show you guys all that. concealer not crazy about it I think it's like kind of dry pasty looking but also not enough coverage it's not doing me justice like I have to put on a lot of layers 
okay so it has like a little stick applicator Alright, so I just tried on the black radiant stuff. Sorry, it seems like my camera stopped recording somewhere along the line, but I'm hoping that it caught most of it. I just did like a very basic plain makeup, like I would be going to run errands or something. And just did a pop of shadow. I didn't put any lashes, didn't really do my eyebrows. Just wanted to give my first impressions on the black radiance. So this was my first time trying the black radiance color perfect oil-free liquid makeup and also the HD color corrector. Just realized I didn't put on the blush. My first reaction, true complexion HD corrector is it was honestly watery. I guess that was my reaction to both of them. They were more on the watery side, not much coverage. I'm I'm not someone who likes to put on a ton of layers. I had to put on two layers of the HD corrector and I still don't think it did quite a good job. So it's not something I'd probably incorporate into my routine for I have a lot of black spots. So if I'm using especially a corrector or a concealer, I definitely need it to do a good job. I think it did an okay job. So for the price, I think it does okay for the price and you get what you pay for. Just for a quick step outside to run errands, maybe just go to the regular store. It's not bad. So now I'm just going to add this. I'm going to try this on top. It looks very much pigmented. That's why I want it because I buy a lot of blush. You don't really see it. Okay, so it's pretty red on my hand, making me actually nervous to try it. But let's go ahead and grab my blush brush. Just going to do a few dabs. Okay. I think I put way too much. And what do I do now? What do I do? What do I do after I put way too much? And there's barely anything under it. Well, I like that it's plenty pigmented. I think I'm gonna have to try this out. So I'm a huge fan of the blush just because of how pigmented it is but I think I just have to get more used to doing a blush look and do it with a better foundation. I think that will work better with a better foundation and concealer under it because then now it's just like kind of revealing my black spots but I like how I look like a clown <laughs> but I like how it's definitely pigmented and you can see my blush which I never had that so I want to try like a separate look with a different foundation and everything on and try that blush out. So for me, I definitely give 10 out of 10 for the blush. Definitely keep and definitely try again. The foundation, I would give it, the foundation I would give it a solid four out of 10. It's not doing it for me at all. 
and the concealer probably about the same so like the concealer like 3.5 even probably a 2 I'm not a huge fan of this concealer at all I don't think I'll be keeping it, it was a waste of money sorry and then obviously the setting powder you guys have seen me talk about that before so the setting powder I absolutely love the setting powder was what made me want to try the concealer and the foundation and everything else from this brand so 10 out of 10 for the setting powder 10 out of 10 for the blush and I will skip their concealer and foundation and next time I'll use something else and I look like a clown but that's okay I just want to show you guys I also got my wig I was supposed to put it on in this vlog but couldn't find it for days so I just want to unbox it and show it to you guys I got it from wig queen so it's just one of those stores that come from China but let's see the delivery was super fast it got here within a week in one of these makes me a little skeptical but let's see all right so this is how it looks like fresh out of the box and all these companies they usually give you a free gift with your purchase like a wig cap something that's okay i mean i could use a new wig cap but I debate if i should take it off the styrofoam to really show you guys but i guess i guess i will i'll take off the styrofoam it's supposed to be 20 inches it's supposed to be longer than the hair i've been wearing it's not looking it's also supposed to be denser 180 as opposed to the other one that's 150 but this is barely looking any longer honestly oh my god this is not looking any longer I went ahead and took off the bonnet just so I could really try it on. See where it falls and length. This looks exactly like the other way. The only thing is the lace goes all the way with this one, which obviously I have to just still wear. I don't have my hair in a wig cap right now, but... It looks okay. It looks pre-plucked for the most part. Oh my gosh, I can't with this blush. This is the wig. This is what it's looking like. I'm probably going to work on this in my next vlog, so make sure you guys tune in. I still have to wash it and everything and kind of prep the hair to get it on my head. I like it. It's definitely more hair, but it's not the length I was thinking. I might have to straighten it and see what it does. I'm going to have some fun with this unit. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end off this vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoy watching this little vlog a few days in my life, getting new stuff, and just moving around furniture again moving around everything always move around something but thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit the subscribe button leave me a comment down below hit the like on this video and i'll see you in my next video bye